there's a uh, two pieces from uh, ukulele music or it's one piece really but the the two poems look slightly different but it it does run on and there's an allusion um to k a 7 which is which was a flight um and the note goes like this k a 7 in september 1983 a soviet fighter plane shot down a south korean airliner when all 269 passengers were kill, killed causing a brief stir Life is too black as he paints it, and Redding's nastiness sometimes seems a bit over the top. Thinks a review, so does he. Too black and over the top, though, is what the actual often happens to be, I'm afraid. He don't invent it, you know. Take, for example, some snippets from last night's dailies before they're screwed up to light the park ray. Birmingham, March 83. On her allotment in King's Heath picking daffodils, Dr. Doris McCutcheon, retired, pauses to look at her veg. Dr. McCutcheon, aged 81, does not know that behind her, Dennis, aged 36, lurks, clutching an old iron bar. Unemployed labourer Dennis Bowring sneaks up behind her, Bashes are over the head, jaw, nose and cheek are smashed in. Dennis then drags her until he has got her into the tool shed, strikes her again and again. There is a sexual assault. Also a watch and some money worth less than ten pounds are stolen. It is an appalling offence, Bowring is told by the judge. Amateur frogmen discover a pair of human legs buried, mafia-style, in cement, deep in an Austrian lake. Smugly, Americans rail over KA007. Angrily, Moscow retorts. Hokkaido fishermen find five human bits of meat, one faceless, limbless female Caucasian. Shirts, empty briefcases. Shoes, fragments of little child's coat, pieces of movable section of wing of a 747. USA, USSR, butcher a Boeing like chess. Probably civil jumbos are used for intelligence business. Pity the poor subs on board don't have the chance to opt out. Sexual outrage on woman of 88 robbed of her savings. Finger found stuck on barbed wire. Too black and over the top. Clearly we no longer hold H. Sapiens in great reverence. Which situation, alas, no elegiacs can fix. What do they think they're playing at then, these poetry wallers? Grub Street reviewing its own lame valedictory bunk. And the next chunk is a couple of extracts from a book called Going On. These are the days of the horrible headlines. Bomb blast atrocity, leak from reactor. Soccer fans run amok. Middle East bloodbath. PC knocks prisoner's eye out in charge room. Outside, the news vendors ululate. Inside, lovers seek refuge in succulent, plump flesh. Booze themselves innocent of the whole shit works. Why has the gentleman fallen face forward into his buttered asparagus, garçon? He and his girlfriend have already drunk two bottles of Bollinger and they were half tight when they arrived at the place half an hour since. 
Waiters manhandle the gentleman upright, aim him with smirks at the lady towards his quails which he misses and slumps in the gravy, baying the while for encore du Savigny. He is supplied with the burn, which he noses, quaffs deeply, relishes, sinks to the gingham, where he reposes susurrently. There is sixty-three sandemen fetched to revive him. Chin on the pont l'eveque, elbow in ashtray, as from the Book of the Dead he produces incomprehensible hieroglyphs, bidding access surrender the price of his coma onto the restaurateur, kindly and patient. These are the days of the national health cuts, days of the end of the innocent liver. They have to pay for it privately, who would seek anaesthetic. And from going on again, this one. This is unclean, to eat turbots on Tuesdays, tying the turban unclockwise at cockcrow, cutting the beard in a south-facing mirror, wearing the mitre whilst sipping the bovril, chawing the pig and the hen and the oxtail, kissing of crosses with peckers erected, pinching of bottoms except in a yashmak, flapping of cocks at the star-spangled banner, snatching the claret pot off of the vicar, munching the wafer without genuflection, facing the east with the arse pointing backwards, thinking of something a little bit risque, raising the cassock to show off the Y-fronts, holding a homburg without proper license, chewing the cud with another man's cattle, groping the ladies or gentry of Sundays, leaving the tip on the old plum tree shaker, speaking in physics instead of the claptrap, failing to pay due obeisance to monkeys, loving the platypus more than the true duck, death without afterlife, smirking in Mecca, laughing at funny hats, holding the tenet, how that the word be but fucking baloney, failing to lord the accipiter which our lord saith is wisdom. Started by Australopithecus, these are time-honoured creeds, and all unholy doubters shall be enlightened by pious devices, mayhems of tiny tots, low-flying hardwares, knee-cappings, letter-bombs, deaths of the firstborns, total extinctions of infidel, unclean, wrong-godded others. Right. This is from a book called Eva Gatry. Came to an island fog tape with feculence, chip papers, diet Pepsi cans clattering, prams, supermarket trolleys, spent mattresses, bus rank of steel and rank uriniferous concrete, a footbridge richly enlivened with aerosol squirtings, daubed graffiti. Pustular simian sub-teenagers hurling abuse and empty bottles over the parapet into crowds of pensioners waiting for express service. Xylophone tinkle of smashed glass, crackle under a tire, a hapless old fart stanching the flow from freshly sliced flesh. Avian botulism thriving, black plastic bin bags, scavenging laridae, sand eels depleted, overfishing, sanitised quondam herringgull colony, sanitised quondam kittiwake colony, all that remains, their last year's shits stink. Fifty-three bus approaching the terminus. Dapper, sartorial, English elder. Suited in Manx tweed. 
Close clipped grey tash. Too much is wrong. Gibbonian undertones. Schooling and bread and dress and manners. Era's decline. Elgarian sadnesses. Too much is wrong. Duff ticker, insomnia, ulcer and thyrotoxicosis. End of the world in one's lifetime, likely. Flight of a sparrow, brief through the feasting hall. Perilous trek, unarmed, unaccompanied, set out from cranium through uncharted swamp to arrive at lingua franca, thence to this logaidic dependency. Cranial voice, loquacious, inadequate, Translationese from life to lingo. Only a troubled idyll now possible. Pastoral picnic under an ozone hole. England, the times screwed up in a trash bucket. Gliding astern, the Thames, the old prides. End of an era, nation, notion. Albion, urban, devenestated. One of those routine, periodic, faunal extinctions, C.F. the Permian. Arthropod aberration, posterity. A dreadful, bloody insurrection among the poor mad islanders brought about because their automobiles, which they had revered above all else and which had helped boost their weak, inferior egos, had been confiscated by their suddenly aware and panic-stricken government. For it seems that, whereas the manifest absurdity and mayhem on congested tarmac and the lowering mantle of ferruginous fog had somehow failed to awaken authoritarian sensibility, this abrupt, albeit long prognosticated, termination of a fundamental, unrenewable... Newspapers there, the sumps of society, draining off, holding up for inspection a corporate concentrated slurry, retail with relish, mayhem and muck of a clapped-out subliterate scrap-stuffed fake state. 23.3 million vehicles, 29.8 million drivers, 300,000 maimed on their ludicrous tarmac PA, 5,000 flinched dead. For fortunate, then, that it doesn't matter, for they are far too philoprogenitive. Snow-haired, an elder, dulled eyes, gum-filled, tuning a sweet-toned, curious instrument, gulps from a goblet of local Merlot, sings on a theme whose fame was fabled, that of a sad, a sad realm, farctate with feculence. Patois and translationese alternately. Gobshite dama petty, gobby fair dama, get speaker bagsy, get speaker pali, comma cool comma, mal bicker bicker pokey, get speaker pokey. Um, wonderful little madam, self mocking iron lady who some said was a windbag, some said talked like an asshole like a terminagent. Why? Why did some say that? Pass cos vots clobber jolly, vots chevy dur dur, vots baggy main chick, vots collier prick, kunti vats twitnik, isht puka jolly, iros jalos, that's porky. Because your uh, pretty frocks, your perm stiff hair, your smart handbag, your tight, tight, uh, sharp necklace, satrapes, so marvellous, were so beautiful, they were envious. That's it. Ni ichst vots mari papa, grinuleto ne. Mas vots politik, sagio sovi. Vots sal insula, insula petty, et fair tuts egal mit nachts. Nor was your spouse a pipsqueak, far from it. But your many wise policies 
were saving your islet, your filthy isle, and made all equal with nil. And finally, an extract from a book called minus 273.15, that is to say absolute zero in terms of theoretical physics. For I will consider our ship as cat. For, having performed the roly-poly and curly paw, for entertainment she tackles the tenfold cogitations. For first, she frets over rainforest depletions. For secondly, she condemns our OTO CO2 emissions, for these fuck up their atmospherics. For thirdly, she bids a peremptory adieu to biodiversicals. For fourthly, she regrets that eight Burmese pythons, four emus, an anaconda and twelve Colombian red-tailed boas have been left back at the zoo awaiting diluvium. For fifthly, she grieves the accelerating pace of melting Antarctic glaciers, smokestack and tailpipe gas. For the drain of the Antarctic ice sheet, region containing enough ice to raise sea levels 20 feet, tough luck Bangladesh, New Orleans. For sixthly, she calculates the numbers of cuculus canaries visiting UK down 50% in 30 years. For seventhly, she flinches from the cathode ray tubes diatiding us. For eighthly, she strenuously denies deities. For ninthly, the acupitrine unleashing scares her shitless. For tenthly, she apprehends devenestation. Thank you. Okay. Mm. I like to say that was bloody awesome. <laughs> <laughs>